much more is going uh, on and, there. And this place is bizarre. It's there's there's it's wild wild. wild. And now, the conclusion. Why did you decide to make this your place? Um, it, climate is good. People are very, very, very kind and pleasant and curious and engaging. And we feel that we already made friends here. Um, it's not expensive. It's less pricey than... than Almost anywhere in Colombia. Yeah, it's not it's not expensive. Coffee for us, we are. I'd say coffee is probably high on the list. The reasons why. <laughs> yeah, I, it's, I think it's you the can't best coffee in the world. Yeah, it's, hands down. It's pretty amazing. And what's nice, you know, in Ecuador, you can't ever find the best coffee because they they ship it. Here, there's coffee that no one else no, in the world no, will ever no, have no. Yeah, unless it's you're here. Right here. Yeah. No, it's amazing. It's. Um, the, I love the nature. The the views. The the, the sky. Isn't yes. the name um can can Leo have something to do it's in that the native word has something to do with the the light or the sky or I I don't know, maybe I'm off on that. Maybe I'm maybe I went a little maybe sideways you want on it that. To be. But the the sky is here too. Yeah. There's something about the sunsets and the light. The way, and it just yes. seems uh, that, that was kind of a fascination for us too with these the different places that we've stayed in. It's important to, to um, live in a beautiful place if you have a choice. Why not? It's connected too. It's not isolated. You want to be in Bogota. We know our friends went to Bogota to a concert in five hours. They drove at night to avoid traffic. Five hours in Bogota. You can take a bus, go to Medellin. You can fly from here to the States if you so inclined. Very smart in less than an hour. Well, yeah. International Airport up in there the the yeah. Pereira, they're making their they're making it uh bigger. Pareda's extending their airport and they're going international, so and so it's it's really convenient. It's a very modern place. It's very modern very the level well of developed. service here. I mean the with your all your drink uh, drinkable water, all your uh, your fiber optics. You got your fiber optic internet. Yeah. You have, I mean, the... Um, yeah, everything is working. And, and I have to mention, too, the crime rate. There's low, very and, low. Yeah, because it's, when we came to Armenia, we stayed in the not in the north part, which is more Lujoso. We stayed in more to the south, and it's probably strata 2-3. Yeah. We never felt uncomfortable. Actually felt welcome. Safe. Actually, felt, felt welcome. very welcome. Yeah. It was People very were very, nice. very kind and outgoing. Um, even as opposed to like Pereira, <laughs> Pereira was kind of sketchy. There's a sketch factor up there. I a lot of people asking you for money. I think more people ask us for money in Pereira than any other place we've been. Even no, it's true. It's true. We got hit a lot of on, on the streets. Everybody was out. Yeah, so the three, really the three parks were really kind of obnoxious, and the, and the one has really gone downhill. Other areas still very nice. Uh, again, it's like I, I don't, um, I, I just wouldn't want to live there. That's no, all. No, no. It, and here you feel, uh, when we saw those little plaques on, on the sideways, the Zermable. Yeah. It's just, you can't go wrong with that. How can Healthy. you not smile? When and there's the blocks on the sidewalk says like that. Yeah. It's the truth. It's the yeah. truth. It's very nice. And we observed Halloween here. We were so taken aback by how little kids share, how they treat each other. You know, another draw for me because I am from Well what you gotta Eastern. say what, what wait, the, wait. the children would give one another, they would change candy with each other. I'd never seen that. No, it's very they, sweet. And the older kids would give the little kids candy, but then amongst the friends, they would they would exchange candy with each other. So that was that was really touch, very touching. It was very nice touching. To and, but for me, what also is striking about Colombians is how polite people are and well mannered. And you observe it everywhere. You don't see or um, hear screaming children. I'm not originally from the places where children rule so for me it's very difficult yeah. to watch and it, here it's not you you're in restaurants you're in public places 
it's very different. People are people are noisy because they are happy. Yeah. It's a lot of music always. It's a lot of celebration. A lot of laughter. A lot of laughter. They like to smile. They like to laugh. But they are very no, not bad. And they are very very polite, well mannered people. Ooh. It's genuine, it, and that's what also we feel. It's it's genuine. You know, we lived in in for a month in another apartment and all of a sudden people next door ran into Tim and said oh you, we are renting here Colombian couple retired from Bogota they said come come to dinner come have a glass of wine with us so when had a glass of wine what do you like to eat of Colombian food so they prepared a meal for us it was totally random not no expectations and you know since we are in uh, searching for that sweet place for us we would like to have our own place and again I'm not a city girl we want to be closer to nature and we've seen a lot of a lot a lot of properties uh, gringos are in Colombia about three to maybe five percent uh, buyers of properties in Colombia. Three, three to five more, percent. Three to five. Here is probably lower even. It's mm -hmm. mostly Medellin and Bogota right. and bigger yeah. cities. Not here. So it's not it's not gringo prices even. People come here to retire. And they love it. They love the climate. They love the... Don't you love when you get out of a taxi that they insist to give you the change? The change. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a big difference. You don't expect you know, like, that's, what's, that's what's amazing now. Mm -hmm. And that, I need to, to keep Tim in check because he is being a gringo, being a kind person to begin it's with. A, it's a kind thing, it's, but, it's a, they, but see they don't. It is condescending. Right. You know, it's like, why do you think I need that? Right. You know, yes. what I need is what's fair. Right. And, and you have good services here. I we found a coffee place with fantastic croissants, really world class croissants, which not easy to find. The healthcare, yeah, that was another reason why we chose Colombia. Okay. So another reason for for staying uh, in this area and for staying in Colombia is that Colombia is actually rated by the World Health Organization receives a higher rating on, on for global um, medical practice. It rates higher than the United States. Some of the best hospitals in the Western Hemisphere exist Are in Colombia. Here. Yes. I, I have a tendency to overthink those things because it's important and I go down these rabbit holes. We people here, local people, suggested one organization, Sanitas. And it's great in Armenia, new facilities, fantastic. The price, when we heard the price, we almost dropped dead. It's less than $30 for both of us. There is a lot of misinformation out there because people say it's 12.5% uh, of your income. But we don't work here. We are retired. So that is counted off the minimum wage. Exactly. And you end up with under 30 bucks. One is primary, one is family member, under $30 that covers everything. We also wanted to have a little bit more, like, God forbid something uh, happens. I don't want to share a room in the hospital because mm -hmm. I know how cranky I am when I'm sick. <laughs> so we were exploring maybe um, private insurance in addition. Private insurance is affordable and expensive, yeah. especially for people over 60. For me, it was totally affordable. It's not expensive, but for Tim, it was, um, I think, three times more than my premium would have been. Yeah. So we decided it's not necessary, and we talked with a lot of people, and everybody was on the same boat. You, you really don't need it. It's an excessive. And we talked to a um, to people who work for um, insurance and we said we want to travel um, we primarily wanted it for travel purposes to say you just buy uh, health insurance for travel purposes it will cost you like what he said eighty thousand a month yeah. purposes so it's about sixty dollars 
and you will be covered. So yeah. there is no reason for you to spend so much money. It would have been what six thousand a year. Not a big deal again, but we are on the. You know, having good medical coverage, and uh, it's everybody's everybody's entitled to it. And that's, so it's, it's not it's competitive medicine. It and is. That's why there's so many. In in Cuenca, you have IESS. That's it. That's it. Here, how many? Eight, nine? It's more than that. Well, As you walk around, you start, not you start noticing there's lots and of... And you know what? What strikes me, it's it's competitive, but they don't put each other down. No. We called, talked to Sanitas, and Sanitas said, well, we might offer you different prices, but Sura is a very good option, too. So we went to Sura, and Sura actually is a better option because they all have something that is called complementary plan mm -hmm. and complementary plan is you have a choice of a doctor it needs to be within the network you pay but a you little have more but you don't have to buy private insurance yes right and it's really a it's good smart. option for us so and there are no pre-existing conditions the age is not important so we will i think our coverage including complementary for a month would be less than $150 for both of us. The service was when we enrolled, it was easy. In 36 hours, it, you don't have separate card, it's all with your ID. In 36 hours, you have a coverage, there is no waiting period, nothing. Then you get by email, you get a bill, you pay online, you're all done. It was Impressive. Really it was impressive. impressive process. Impressive process. Do you have any comments, advice, um, reflecting back, or things that you would or wouldn't do? Yeah. Would or wouldn't do? No, I think that we are spending, allowing ourselves to spend time in places longer, and renting apartments, not staying in the hotels. I think it helped us tremendously to get the feel. Um, going to supermarkets, getting healthcare. We had healthcare in Ecuador we needed, so it was experience that was valuable. Right? Taking public transportation, and not, not viewing everything through the tourist eyes. That's very valuable, too. I say Spanish. I think that uh, that can't, yes. I can't understate how much that has opened doors for us right. when people, even early on when we were still, or Spanish wasn't so good, um, just that they, they there you have a different attitude towards uh, that you're trying, you know, that you're actually making an effort. The effort, man. Right. That, and that, that, um, that makes an impression. And, and also, once, once the Spanish got better, then we've noticed that people, um, they just, they start talking, and then they start joking, and then you start, you know, you have relationships, yeah. you, you, it's it's much easier. Uh, yeah, your relationships, as you know, is everything here. It's South America. It's about relationships. It's, it's very, I think what we wouldn't do, I don't know what we wouldn't do, but I think don't trust anybody. Basically, gather your information, do your due diligence, Everybody's experience is different. Everybody's experience is different. We knew what we were looking for. We wanted to be closer to the States. We have children, we have grandchildren. We wanted to be in the place where we can learn um, the language and communicate with people. Yes. It's impossible to do in Thailand. So I don't think that at that, that point, at this stage of my life, it's easy to learn. Language. I yeah I don't want to be fully submerged into a, a, just the North American culture of Canadians and Americans speaking English right. and right. and a kind of a cloistered American community someplace else in the world. I want to learn other cultures. I want to learn other languages. So I mean, a big part of it for us was that I already knew Spanish and that it was just a vast country of South America. There's so much to see and so much to do here. But yeah, that was a big part of it was the so speaking it was, the language. We we focused on this region. 
for a reason and, and then staying focused is a little difficult as you know from I get very excited <laughs> but we love every place we've been to that's the problem is yeah. we go someplace and it's like wow we love I this kids, we love kids this. actually makes make fun of us but start sinking in and it it very it, it becomes evident whether you fit or you don't and, and it's basically what it is you know it's what it is uh, El Poblado. We probably visited El Poblado twice, right? One for hair, once for haircut, <laughs> <laughs> and once because we couldn't find that that place. Right. We, we, went, we had to go see. We we heard it was a great in Medellin. Yes. Medellin. Oh, in Medellin, it's a, it's kind of like the gringo yeah, nightlife. Was, we would never be able to live in places. We would like not this. be able to do it. Um, Gated communities where we're predominantly English speakers. Yes. It's not for us. We, we, we were looking for different experiences. and So healthcare, that climate, people, people, security, people, feeling people, safe. People. Feeling safe. Armenia is great for that. Um, anything to do differently? Infrastructure. Great I am very glad we went. We started with Nicaragua because we we love Nicaragua. We travel there again. Big difference between being a tourist, and we travel there. And we had an idea that we might live in Matagalpa. We met people. We we loved people there. People are amazing in Nicaragua, and we had great experiences. But staying there for five. Five weeks we yeah. We we understood that you know, being in the city with no one library, no no a bookstore inside, there are no movie theaters, sometimes you want it to be there. We like we like Columbia too because of the education too. People are educated here. Um, they and they really put a high value on education. Yes. Um, and universities so, are yeah everywhere. there's lots of universities yeah. lots of higher education uh, that, that tells a lot mm -hmm. that says a lot and what would we do differently um, only maybe take more time or slow down you know that I don't know if that's that's not my MO it's his so we're a little <laughs> um, slow down yeah it'd be hard to go much slower <laughs> We've taken it pretty easy. Yeah, I don't know. And, and um, we, we also know that Chile is, it might be, many people say, why didn't you try Chile? It's a very modern country. It's mm -hmm. well to do. First of all, it's more expensive. Considerably more. Considerably. Considerably. It has change of seasons. The mm -hmm. weather is different. Yeah. It's different culturally. I don't think we would fit Ch in, there. Argentina, yeah, there is attraction to Argentina too, but there's so much turmoil. The turmoil it always has been. Uruguay is a place Uruguay. that I, I want to go. Uruguay is on the list of things we, to do, but also it's very expensive. It's, as far as we feel like we've gotten off to a good start for the last almost a year now. Um, we just feel like uh, our home base. We're looking forward to getting a place here now and. We're looking forward to people coming and, and visiting yeah, us know. too. And you we know, want to share this. We want to share this experience to share, with other people. Share the country because there is so many stereotypes still, and people still yeah, think of it in terms of narcos. You know, it's you know, just it's, it's it it really breaks my heart because that that mold needs to be broken somehow. So 